Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. It looks like a lot of these shelves walking in are bare, so let's see what's waiting for us on the inside. Alright guys, I'm here in Maryland and the great toilet paper and tissue shortage of 2020 is continuing. Who would have known we should have been stacking toilet paper all this time? <laughs> wow. No toilet paper? Use some napkins. Wow guys, it's not just toilet paper and stuff, but it's food items now. Let's go over here and see it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lunch of those. Look at all this food stuff gone. It's crazy. Look at this. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that people are buying looks like it's really perishable stuff. You don't want stuff that's going to expire in a week or two, folks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, we do have some meats here. Coming over here. Guys, Lucius the lobster, who wants them? Let me know in the comments. This bread area. Out. No donuts. have pineapples, we have pineapples. Look at those giant apples, wow. You guys, I'm like <clears throat> used to American supermarkets where like all the produce looks amazing. Like, a lot of this fruit is gone. 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 A lot of the vegetables gone. Whatever was in there is gone. Avocados in the ground. A lot of like mouthwash type stuff gone. Wow, oh, mouthwash. A lot of toothpaste. A lot of toothbrush, but mouthwash, that's amazing. Probably because of alcohol in it. Oh, diapers. Looks like we've had a run on like diapers and baby wipes. Baby wipes. Zero. Wow. Yeah, I guess when you run out of toilet paper, baby wipes is the next thing to go, huh? I run on pizza. Please, God, tell me there's pizza bagel bites left. Please be pizza bagel bites left. Excuse me. Please, God, tell me there's pizza bagel bites left. Guys, thank God. There are hot pockets left. Uh, let's move on. Four cheese. We're gonna have to do um, pepperoni pizza, I guess. Bagel bites. Four per person. Wow. We do have spaghettios. We do have spaghettios. There is some canned food left, but look at this, guys. A lot of canned food is gone. Wow. Lemon, two per person, milk, buttermilk, and substitutes. Wow. A ton of medications gone.
Got a nice hand sanitizer station here. I mean, not everything's gone, but definitely doesn't look like how a store usually looks like. A lot of personal hygiene stuff sold out. Got some hydrogen peroxide. So much stuff is sold out. Wow. I'm gonna be here a week, guys, so I got some water and Gatorade and some Nutri-Grade. Probably get a couple food items for uh, that I can heat up in the hotel. And uh, see what else I can find. Ah, here's the bread. Let's see how the bread is going. All right, the bread looks pretty good. At some places I've seen there's been a run on bread. That bread's kind of take a little bit. We are running out of some bread over here. We do have cheese. Mask. Let me know on bananas. Run them on taters. salad kits all right guys so I tried to only get the essentials hot pockets all right get in I got some nutri grain bars some water some Gatorade some snacks a little bit of milk for my coffee some kombucha I'm done let's self check out lines everywhere guys to check out lines there's even a line for the self checkout there's like 20 people behind me. It's crazy. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Well, that was interesting. Um, people definitely were not panicked. There was, there did seem to be a sense of urgency with some people. I saw a few people wearing a mask. Here comes in a lady right now wearing a mask. I'm gonna try to get her. Um, but. I also saw a few people wearing gloves, uh, but people had their heads around and they weren't going too crazy, so that's good. Um, but yeah, guys, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get back to the hotel, catch myself an Uber. I hope you like this video. And if you watch this video and you're not a subscriber, 70% of you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I usually do content on gold and silver, but I'm doing a lot of updates too on what's going on in the world. So uh, either way, please subscribe and thanks for joining me. Catch you on the next one. It's International Stacker here and uh, I'm on my way to the airport and I thought it'd be interesting. I'm gonna film going through the airport on the plane today, trying to get you guys as much footage to show you what it's like to travel domestically at this time. And it is today is the 15th of March. And if you're new to my channel and you came here for this video, um, I usually make content about collecting and stacking gold and silver for retirement and to fight against inflation, but today I'm taking you on an adventure. Let's see what happens. Wait a second, what's this sign? There's this, a warning sign up here, guys. What does it say? Let's try to focus. Focus. Can you slow down a little? Come on. Focus. All right, guys. I just checked in. Not many people at all. Let's go. Let's go see how security is. And it got upgraded to first class. I mean, I am a medallion member, but something tells me it might be dead. Let's see what security looks like. Wow, it's pretty dead. And luckily, I'm TSA pre-check. Guys, just came through security there. And I mean, there are people in here, but. Not as many as normal. This is San Diego, so um, I guess it's a smaller airport, but it's a major one. So this place right now would usually be packed. So there are people in here, but not many. Let's continue this journey. Let's see what it looks like on the plane. And then I'm gonna be in Detroit next. And then after Detroit, we'll be in Baltimore, so.